In this video, I'm gonna be answering one simple question that a few people asked on that previous episode where I build a see-through wood gas generator, and that is, will the charcoal that's left over from producing wood gas burn? There's only one way to find out. Let's try it. I'm gonna start out here by filling this vessel with chunks of mesquite hardwood, and it's gonna be pretty interesting because I found out that wood gas is comprised mostly of hydrogen and carbon monoxide, but the charcoal that was left over still has fuel. I'm gonna start out by putting the wood through the same process as I did in that previous episode, so we have the same type of charcoal left over. Gee, look at that wood gas. Should I burn that? It looks like while we were heating up the beaker, I noticed that the bottom started melting a little bit, so I turned it down and bam, the whole thing broke. But that's okay. I'm just gonna load everything up into this empty paint can, throw it on the burner, and continue on. And just to be sure that there's nothing else left in that wood, I decided to heat the entire container up until I couldn't even see the slightest bit of smoke coming out of that hole. It's all done cooking, and funny enough, during the whole time I was worried about the burner making a hole in the bottom of the can, and it was fine until I turned the burner off and some oxygen got in there, and we have a hole. But after the burner was turned off, so it's kind of interesting. But let's open this up, take a look inside, and see what our charcoal looks like. And the first thing I notice looking at this charcoal is, grab a piece out, it has kind of like an oil sheen to it. And another thing I notice is, here's some regular charcoal for reference. It's a lot lighter than ordinary charcoal and it also has a different sound, listen. It's kind of like a sponge and it just breaks right apart. And just for reference, this container was almost full before cooking it and I can see that even the tars from the wood have been pretty much disintegrated burned into ashes and somebody had a great idea they asked that I eat some of this charcoal to uh, they said it has health benefits I'm not gonna eat it but I am gonna see if we can cook something that I can't eat we're ready to cook and I brought in none other than the infamous Weber grill I filled half of the grill with our wood gas charcoal and half of it with regular lump charcoal that you would find in the store. I looked up charcoal and the one thing that I did read is that charcoal is mostly carbon. And the other thing I know about charcoal for sure is because it doesn't have any moisture and it doesn't have a few other things, it burns a lot hotter than wood. I read up to like 2400 degrees. We're ready to go. We have our lighter fluid, our hot dogs, and our two different types of charcoal, our wood gas charcoal on this side, lump charcoal on this side. Just like you would an ordinary grill. It's been about three minutes, and the first thing that I noticed is that the wood gas charcoal lit up right away. It looks a lot more gray than the ordinary charcoal. Not sure why that is. It's like lit and it's hot. I even have the air on the grill underneath closed. There's no air going in there. I'm just gonna start cooking because this is all about the wood gas charcoal, not the lump charcoal. Interestingly enough, it looks like the wood gas charcoal, which is this side, is cooking better than the regular charcoal. Just seems like more even heat and it's cooking a little bit faster. I mean, these things look pretty good. Uh-oh, those are a little bit burned. That's the verdict. I guess you can cook with uh, wood gas charcoal. It seems to work a lot better than regular charcoal. I'm gonna serve them up, see how they taste. I haven't had a hot dog in years. It actually tastes pretty good. That's kind of interesting. This is after all of the charcoal is finished burning. This is what's left over. Nothing but ashes. And this was the wood gas charcoal. That was the regular charcoal. You can see that there was definitely some other chemicals left in that charcoal because it's brown and this is white. Well, that sums it up. Apparently you can burn the charcoal that's left over from producing wood gas and cook with it. 
Leave some comments, share your thoughts, hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Oh, no. Next time. <laughs> And what I do know about charcoal is that it burns a lot hotter than wood. And I experienced this firsthand when I was about 10 years old. My mom had one of those big gas grills out on the porch and I thought it was a great idea. I had a bag of charcoal and the lava rocks were pretty much gone. I filled the gas grill up with charcoal completely, started the gas grill up, got ready to cook. And about five or 10 minutes later, I look out the kitchen window and I can just see a big, glowing orange light. So I run to the kitchen, I look out, and the grill was literally melting in front of my eyes and falling apart. And the whole port started on fire. I went out there and put it out. That was my experience with charcoal burning hotter than wood.